Congratulations. Thank you very much. A huge honour, not only to be here tonight, but being presented with this award. Uh, with the you know the summer that we've had, it, it it seems to be getting better and better. And I think it's not only great for cricket; it's it's fantastic for sports. So, on behalf of all, all the team, thank you to GQ. Um, what a dramatic way to win! You were the architect of England's success at the World Cup. What do you remember from that moment? Now, that moment, uh, I actually remember it quite vividly. It's um, everything seemed to happen in slow motion, and then from the time Joss Butler took the bales off, that winning moment. We ran around like school children as fast as we could, just trying to chase whoever was around. And it was it, it was fantastic. You said something really lovely, and I know, Greg, you've talked about this in your press conference afterwards, about how the team represents modern Britain. What did you mean by that? Um, I mean, mean quite a lot about that. Our team is, is, is quite a diverse one. Uh, we have guys who have, have grown up in, in different countries. We have guys of different races and religions. And a big part of our team, particularly over the last two years, has been gelling together a culture and values in which everybody can relate to. And everybody has. And it's created a huge understanding around the team, around issues that probably haven't been tackled in, in modern society. But somehow within our team, we've managed to, to, to come together and, and overcome anything that, that might be perceived as, as an issue. At a time when, as a country, we're more divided than ever. <laughs> yeah, that is that is very true. <laughs> and I'm thankful I'm not involved in that sort of stuff. But it, uh, we, yeah, it's... Uh, it's great that, that, that sport and, and, and our sport, cricket, we are fanatical about it, can have such a, a powerful impact in people's lives and uh, to be a part of that is extremely special. Greg? What more can I say? This guy is sort of, he's, he's nails as well. I mean, the, the way that he got that team four years ago from rock bottom to literally top of the world is, uh, is kind of extraordinary. There's, not, there's nothing more I can add than, than what he did. He's, a, he's one of the most extraordinary leaders of a sports team, I think, and it's, um, it's right that GQ gave, gave him the award and the team the award today. Yeah, it was, what, what an amazing summer. It's just, it, was, it was the maddest match of all time, and I can't imagine what it would have been like to, just been, to be playing it, and in that dressing room when you're deciding who goes out for the Super Over, who bowls, the, who bowls it, like, all those sorts of things, they're memories that you're going to sort of treasure forever, aren't you? They're just, they're just, it was the best. It was a, it was a proper moment. The best. It was the best. That's the best. good enough for me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take that, the best. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for bringing us into this hot room. You're very welcome. <laughs> We're all pretending it's not. You may leave. Uh, sweating Ky bullets. <laughs> Kylie told us to stay hydrated. We, we, we're doing that. We're trying. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. See you.